Hello everyone, it's Hunter and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, it is so nice to meet you. Today's video, I've already filmed once and I accidentally deleted it, so we're just trying again. Today's video is going to be my to be read list from Kindle Unlimited. If you guys don't know, I have a Kindle Paperwhite and I adore it. I pay $9.99 a month for Kindle Unlimited, which is basically like a library type situation. If you're not familiar with it, you can have Kindle Unlimited even if you don't have a Kindle. So if you read on the Kindle app on your phone or your iPad, then then you can definitely still have Kindle Unlimited. So today I am sharing with you guys the titles I have downloaded ready to go for my future reading and some of these I have had since August. So it looks like the oldest one I had downloaded, I downloaded in August and I just haven't gotten around to reading it yet. So I think you can download up to 20 titles at a time. So there are 20 books on this list I believe. So without further ado, before we get started, please be sure to subscribe to my channel down below if you have not already and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and let's go ahead and get started. Also if you want a free trial of Kindle Unlimited I will leave a link in the description box for you guys. It is I guess commissioned. You don't pay anything for your free trial but I do earn money from that so if you click on the link I'd be so grateful because it helps me to continue to create content like this. So let's go ahead and get into it. So the first book on this list is called The Similars by Rebecca Hanover. I'm gonna move over. Apparently there are two books in this series and I'm looking at the description. It is a young adult thriller. Basically it is these six new, six new students are joining this um, elite, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, boarding school. They join the this elite boarding school and they are DNA duplicates to kids that are already in the school so apparently it's a whole dramatic thing. Um, seems very interesting. I love YA thriller. I think it's really very different than like adult thriller so so I'm super excited to get into that one. Next is going to be One Was Lost by Natalie D. Richards and this is also YA thriller and I have recently read some other books by her and I actually really really liked the one I read the most recently so I'm really excited. Apparently this one is about a hike in the woods, a flash flood it cuts off a classmate, a girl and her three classmates from their group with no way to call for help but they're not as alone as they thought. Someone is stalking them through the woods, drugging them stealing their supplies inking words onto their skin damage deceptive dangerous darling are they labels a warning as their hunter grows bolder sarah must find the truth before the killer finds them so it's called one was lost i don't think i actually said the name of it but that looks really good so i'm very quite excited to read it next is one that i've actually seen at target and it is still life by louise penny and it is about this chief inspector armand gamache of the Sûreté du Québec, cannot speak French, so sorry. And his team of investigators are called into the scene of a suspicious death in a rural village south of Montreal. Jane Neal, a local fixture of the tiny hamlet of Three Pines, just north of the US border, has been found dead in the woods. The locals are certain it's a tragic hunting accident and nothing more, but Gamache smells something foul in these remote woods and is soon certain that Jane Neal died at the hands of someone much more sinister than a careless bow hunter. So I'm excited to read that. Apparently it's the first in 17 in a series um, of the Chief Inspector gamash mystery books but i'm really only interested in the first one for now <laughs> but i'm excited to get that one read next is another ya thriller and it's save me by natasha preston i love her books they have a lot of these at target which is how i first found her but it says tegan used to be fun loving and carefree but now she has she's on a self-inflicted downward spiral spiral of booze and boys her life is torn apart by tragedy and now there are two men wanting to put it back together hi it was only supposed to be a bit of physical fun but her friends with benefits arrangement is developing into something else Lucas wants a future with her but their relationship is too complicated to ever work. To save her she needs to be honest with herself. To stop someone from getting hurt she needs to let go. Actually I'm not even sure if this is thriller. She normally writes thriller. I know it's YA. Maybe it's YA romance. I don't know. Either way it looks cute. I downloaded it in September. It's been a while. The next one is another Natasha Preston and it is called Lie to Me. Um, I'm pretty sure this one is going to be more of a romance for YA. Um, it says it's hate at first sight. In 19 Savannah Dean escaped her family leaving behind a note and the people who caused her so much pain at 19, Kent Lawson's girlfriend betrayed him, leaving behind a broken heart and a whole lot of mistrust in women. When Savannah and Kent meet, they can't stand each other. Kent knows that she's hiding something, but he dis and he despises liars, and Savannah has nothing but secrets. So, probably a little YA romance. That sounds cutie. Next is one that is wildly popular on, what's the word, on TikTok. Um, it is A Thousand Boy Kisses by Tilly Cole and Kia Thomas. It looks like 
Tilly, Tilly Cole is the author. But yeah, this one is super popular. It's a YA romance. It says one boy, one girl, a bond that is forged in an instant and cherished for a decade, a bond that will, that neither time nor distance can break, a bond that will last forever or so they believe when 17 year old Rune Christensen returns from his native Norway to a sleepy town of Blossom Grove, Georgia, where he befriended Poppy Litchfield as a child. He was just one thing on his mind. Why did the girl who was one half of his soul who promised to wait faithfully for his return cut him off without a word of explanation? Rune's heart was broken two years ago when Poppy fell silent. When he discovers the truth, he finds out that the greatest heartache is yet to come. This says it is a standalone young adult tearjerker romance for ages 14 and up. I'm very excited to read it. Next is Influenced Love, a fake dating romantic comedy. It is a Black Beauty in Love book number one. Um, it looks like there is just one of them so far. I don't like the way this looks. <laughs> We're just gonna hope for the best. I'm so sorry. This is terrible. Okay, anyway, it is a beauty influencer pulls her followers to pick her date and ends up fake dating a fellow influencer, but real sparks fly when she falls for the man behind his image. So that is like the tagline, I guess. Looks really cute. I got an ad for it on Instagram, maybe, and I thought it was cute. So I decided to download it. Good to know that their marketing is working. Let's see. Next is another one that I'm super pumped to read. I'm pumped to read them all, so I don't know why I'm saying that, but it is the Perfect Daughter by Alex Stone. And if you want to buy the Kindle version of this, it's only 99 cents, which is really nice. It says the Perfect Daughter, Jess Harper, has spent her whole life trying to make her mom Abigail happy and proud in everything she does, from the clothes she wears to the job she has, the men she dates are all approved by her mom first, the perfect boyfriend. So when Jess announces she has a new man in her life, Adam, Abigail is less than impressed. A plumber, really, Jessica? Adam encourages Jess to break free from her mom's manipulation. Can't she see what's happening? The perfect mother. But Abigail is only doing these things to keep Jess safe, to protect her daughter from getting hurt again, isn't she? Or the perfect liar. Jess caught in the middle doesn't know who to believe or trust and when Adam vanishes without a trace, now Jess is the police's prime suspect and they want to know if she's really as perfect as she seems. Psychological thriller. I'm here for it. It has 354 pages, came out in October 2021. Fairly newer book, so that's fun. Next is one that I've actually already started and it is Unmissing by Minka Kent. This is about Merit and her husband Luca have the perfect life and then Luca's first wife, Lydia, who went missing 10 years earlier, has been presumed dead. She's very much alive. She has quite a story. So Mara and Luca agree to help Lydia get back on her feet. Um, but then Lydia becomes super enmeshed in their family and Mara has lots of questions about what Lydia is really there for. I don't know. It seems really good. I'm like halfway through. I'm listening to the audiobook. So it is a, um, it came out in February. I love Minka Kent. She's one of my favorite thriller authors. I really love hers and psychological thrillers. She writes the best psychological thrillers. So I was really excited whenever I saw this available. So super pumped about finishing that one. Like I said, I'm about halfway through it and it has the audible narration included in it. Next is Bring Me Back by B.A. Paris. And I actually have another book by B.A. Paris that is on my physical TBR behind closed doors. Um, so I'm really excited to read them both because I've heard lots and lots of good things. But it says she went missing. He moved on. A whole world of secrets remained until now. Finn and Layla are young in love and on vacation. They're driving along the highway when Finn decides to stop at a service station to use the restroom. He hops out of the car, locks the doors behind him and goes inside. When he returns, Layla's gone, never to be seen again. That is the story Finn told the police, but that is not the whole story. Ten years later, Finn is engaged to Layla's sister, Ellen. Their shared grief over what happened to Layla drew them close and now they intend to remain together. Still, there's something about Ellen that Finn has never fully understood. His heart wants to believe that he, she is the one for him, even though a sixth sense tells him not to trust her. Then, not long before he and Ellen are to be married, Finn gets a phone call. Someone from his past has seen Layla hiding in plain sight. There are other odd occurrences. Long lost items from Layla's past keep turning up around Finn and Ellen's house. Emails from strangers who seem to know too much. Secret messages, clues, warnings if Layla's alive and is on Finn's trail what does she want and how much does she know? This is going to be a psychological thriller and I'm actually so excited for this one. It only has 5,300 ratings on Amazon, but apparently it was a good Goodreads Choice Award nominee. So very excited about that one. The next one is another BA Paris. It is called The Breakdown and it says Cass is having a hard time since the night she saw the car in the woods. It was on the winding rural road in the middle of a downpour and a woman was sitting inside. The woman who was killed. She's been trying to put the crime out of her mind, what she could have done really. It's a dangerous road to be on in the middle of a storm and she probably would have been hurt herself if she stopped. Not only that, her husband would be furious 
furious if he knew she'd broken her promise not to take that shortcut home. Since then, she's been forgetting every little thing, where she left her car, if she took her pills, even the alarm code. The only thing she can't forget is that woman, and the woman might she might have saved in the terrible nagging guilt. A silent call, uh, and the silent call she's receiving, or the feeling that someone's watching her, another psychological thriller. I very much went really quick with that description, but it looks very good. So next is another one that I've actually already started reading one time, but I'm gonna start over from the beginning. It's called This Is Where It Ends. It is the story of a school shooting. It came out in 2016. Basically, 10 a.m. 10 a.m. There's an assembly at the school. 10:02, they get up to leave. 10:03, auditorium doors won't open. At 10:05, someone starts shooting. And it is from the perspective of uh, four different students in the aftermath in the 54 minutes following. So the whole book takes place in 54 minutes. Um, so from 10 a.m. to 10:54, which I think is actually amazing if you can like write a gripping story within that short period of time. I'm very excited to read that. Next is one that a friend of mine actually recommended and I gotta find it. Um, someone recommended this series to me and told me I should check it out. So I actually have not read the description until right this minute. I downloaded it on March 30th. It's called Our Finest Hour, which is book number one in the Time series by Jennifer Milliken. And it says, sometimes a broken heart needs whiskey. Sometimes they need music. Other times only a night with a stranger will soothe the pain. On the I night Isaac and I met, we tried all three. When it was over, we went our separate ways. We planned to never see each other again, but I should really know by now that plans don't work out the way they're supposed to. It's been four years since that night and it's a bizarre twist of fate that lands me in Need of help only Isaac can give. I don't want to be attracted to him, but I am. I don't want my heart to skip a beat when it sees him, but it does. And I really don't want to look at him, want him to look at me that way, but he won't stop because there are things, because things aren't like they were four years ago. And this time we don't have the option of parting ways when the sun comes up. Um, that book came out in 2017 and there are two other books in the series. So if I like this one, I'll most likely continue it. So I think it's, um, I don't know what this genre is considered. I don't know what we would call this. Maybe like thriller romance, maybe? Maybe just romance? I don't know. Someone recommended it and said they thought I would like it, so that's why I'm reading it. <laughs> Next is Girls of Glass by Brianna or Brianna Luba Lubusks. I don't know, you can see it on the screen, but the cover looked cool and it also comes with audible narration. It says that when the granddaughter of one of Florida's most powerful judges disappears, it triggers a personal trauma for detective Alice Garner, the kidnapping and murder of her own child. As a flood of painful memories comes rushing back, Alice sees herself in the guilt-ridden and emotionally fragile mother, Charlotte Burke, who has become the target of a rush to judgment. All too familiar with Charlotte's situation, Alice is reluctant to cast any blame. Her gut instincts tell her that Charlotte's anguish is rude in something else. Some are too dark for the truth to be seen, and Alice believes that it's hiding behind the facade of the illustrious and guarded Burke Mansion. But uncovering Charlotte's past comes with a risk, for Alice's own life is becoming entangled in the secrets and lies of the picture-perfect family, an image that is about to be shattered in so many unexpected ways. So that looks like it's probably a psychological thriller. I'm almost there. I swear I'm almost done. I keep thinking I'm almost to the end, but I'm not. <laughs> Next is The Other Woman by Sandy Jones. I've seen this one so many times. He loves you. Adam loves the description description says he loves you. Adam adores Emily. Emily thinks Adam's perfect and the man she thought she'd never meet. He loves you not, but he loves you not. Lurking in the shadows is a rival, a woman who shares a deep bond with a man she loves and she'll stop at nothing. Emily chose Adam, but she didn't choose his mother, Pammy. There's nothing a mother wouldn't do for her son and now Emily is about to find out just how far Pammy will go to get what she wants. Emily gone forever. Honestly, I'm excited. I love a psychological thriller. Next, I have not read the description on this one yet. I downloaded it like four days ago. Um, this is Forever and Never by Lucy Score. I read Things Will Never Get Over by Lucy Score and I really enjoyed it. So I thought I would probably enjoy this one as well. This is definitely longer. The author's note gives the perfect kind of description. It says frenemies, frenemies to lovers, opposites attract, slow burn, girl in danger, glorious, glorious banter, fighting is foreplay, small town shenanigans, big grumpy pining over protective hero, wild child trouble, minding heroine who keeps on pushing the hero's buttons, steam level, lava suspense, nail biting feels big time. So I'm excited. I like Lucy's score. So pumped about that. Next is Kiss and Don't Tell by Megan Quinn. I have really been enjoying her books recently. It is part of a series. This is actually the first book in the series and I'm dumb and read the second book first, but it is about this hockey player who, uh, and this girl, sh blah, 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 blah. let me back up. Five hockey players in a cabin in the woods and Winnie. Sounds like the start of a fantasy, but it's not. It's a reality and it 
it all started when she got lost in the middle of the Canadian Rockies. A thunderstorm sent her car in a mudslide into a ditch. And for a girl whose survival skills involve finding the nearest Starbucks, she was in deep trouble, forced to abandon her car in search of help. She stumbled upon a cabin in the middle of nowhere. Soaking wet, irritated, and in desperate need of a hot shower, she knocked on the door only to be greeted by five boisterous, burly, and insanely attractive men. Not just men, professional hockey players. I hit the mother blow- she hit the mother load of fantasies, right? Wrong. Because as it turns out, one of them is my ex-boyfriend's half-brother. And when I end up crashing in their spare bedroom for the night, things take a very unexpected turn. I'm excited. I'm excited because I know part of the story because I read the second one first. So this is kind of gonna <laughs> bring it all together for me. Seriously, I'm obsessed with Megan Quinn right now. Next is Highland Fling and or the Highland Fling. It came out not too long ago. It says freshly fired from her third job in a row. Bonnie St. James has lost her way. So when she and her best friend stumble upon a help wanted to post to run a coffee shop in the Scottish Highlands, they apply on a whim. Who knows? Maybe traveling it to a new place is just what they need to figure her next move. When the friends move to the tiny idyllic town of Horse Kelly, they instantly follow fall for the gorgeous Highland landscape and friendly townspeople. But Bonnie finds a less than warm welcome in Rowan McGregor, the rugged local handyman. Busy, busy wrestling his own demons, Rowan's in no mood to deal with a quirky American, even if he is a Bonnie lass. <laughs> That's funny. As Bonnie and Rowan's paths inevitably cross, insults and sparks fly. Can the pair build on their similarities to help each other find purpose and direction and maybe romance too? Or were their passionate tempers pulling them apart? Excited. It's probably gonna be really cute. It also has audible narration. And the last book on this list is one I actually downloaded last night. It is That Forever Girl by Megan Quinn. It's also part of a series. It is the second book in the Getting Lucky series. And um, the Getting Lucky series is four different brothers. So, so this is one of the other brothers. Small town, an ex comes back. That's really all I got without telling you the entire description, which will take me forever. So anyway, I've been filming for 20 minutes. My throat hurt. I need to stop talking. So that is all I have for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. I hope you didn't mind me rambling on and on and on about these books. But anyway, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!